Hey guys, so it's been a minute, but I'm back. So today I'm gonna be doing a blowout on my hair. I'm gonna show you guys how I do a blowout. This is for beginners, because if you're professional and doing a blowout, I don't have any tips for you, I'm sorry, because I am not really good at it. I don't do them too often, but yeah. So to do my blowout, I'm gonna be using the Moda One blow dryer. This was sent to me by Timeco, which is a company who does vacuums and they also make blow dryers. It's kind of like similar to, ooh, Similar to another company you guys know. Okay, so this is what the blow dryer looks like. I've used it a couple times already. It works really good, especially the, the, the diffuser, but today I'm gonna be showing you guys the concentration tip. It comes with three tips. Concentration, the diffuser, and a little bit, a one similar to this, but a little bit bigger. Um, the good thing about this is the smart blow dryer. So it turns blue when your hair is like pretty much dry and it, makes the heat less and the flow a little bit lower. That way you don't suffer from heat damage and stuff like that. So I really like this blow dryer. I'll leave all the links and everything below if you guys wanna check it out. But I'm gonna show you guys how it works and then you guys can do the judge yourself. Okay, so I'm just starting off with wet hair, obviously. I'm gonna put some strong, sexy hair, seal the deal into my ends. This just helps your um, split ends stay together and also like prevents your hair from having flyaways. I'm only gonna put a little bit so I put like midsection and down. So that's kind of like a little leave-in conditioner. And then I'm just gonna apply some heat protectant. So I'm using flat iron spray because I don't really blow dry my hair that often. So I don't really have any more blow dry balm. But if you have a blow dry balm, like use that. You guys like my sectioning? It's great, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so once all my products are applied, I'm gonna start blow drying, obviously. I'm gonna just take like medium sized sections, like about this big and blow dry them separately and put the rest of my hair up in one. I don't like to separate my hair like in a bunch of sections in the beginning just because I feel like my hair gets too dry when they're in like separate sections. And when it's together, it doesn't get as dry and then I can blow dry it straight. So yeah, I don't like do perfect parts or anything. I just take a section down. the rest up okay guys so now i'm going to show you the method i use to blow dry my hair first i just keep tension on my hair and blow dry the roots directly because i hate when you do a blowout on curly hair and the roots are still curly so i make sure i tackle that problem first and just focus the nozzle on the root area then you see me going to the bottom and flipping my brush outwards and underhand blow drying it if that you can see what I'm doing also you can also see the blow dryer changing color when it's red it's blowing out extreme hot heat and when it is blue is blowing out gentle heat and it just has a smart sensor and it knows when to do it which is great so yeah I do underhand for the ends and like flip my hair outwards to do it just because I find that's easier to get the concentration of air onto my ends and I also did the tension method on the roots as you guys saw. And then until it's fully dry or like mostly dry like it is now, that's when I start doing the rolling method and blow dry the barrel while I brush it down my hair and curve it inwards. This is not that important. It doesn't have to be super perfect because of this step. So I'm gonna be adding mousse now. And I feel like this might be weird to some people but it helps keep my hair like it helps set my hair together and then I just blow dry the mousse a little bit not on hot heat as you saw it was blue and then I just roll it all up in my flexi rod and you know clamp it down and go on to the next section so the reason I put mousse is because it keeps everything together and I blow dry the mousse just to make sure it doesn't get any of my hairs curly again but not on hot heat because I feel like that's bad so again here you see me doing the tension method and then underhand blow drying the ends. That way you don't get your hair blowing all over your face and all over everywhere. Cause that's what happened, used to happen to me. And then sometimes I do the chase method, kind of like this, where I blow dry my hair, but I brush my hair. I don't blow dry the brush like professionals do 
because I'm not a professional. But then here we are, I'm blow drying the brush and curving it in and that's this is only when my hair is like pretty much dry because then it's like easier to brush through and manage when it's wet i can't do that roll under method i don't know why again i am rolling my hair in flexi rod and how i do this is i actually twirl the bottom first roll it on, and then roll the rest of my hair up into it. But one thing I did want to mention about this blow dryer, the Moda One, is that it's blue in the beginning as well. Because I thought it was just going to be blue at the end when your hair is done. But it's blue when your hair is super soaking wet too, because I guess it's bad to put super heat on like soaking wet hair. Then once your hair is like damp, it, you see it turn red. I don't know why I yelled damp. I feel like I yelled that. <laughs> but once it turns red, your hair is like damp, and then it like blast it with the red heat and then your hair dries and then it goes back to the blue which is cool and soft again so yeah I just thought I'd mention that I really like that it's a smart blow dryer because when you take it away from your face and it's like you know chilling this way it turns itself off or on super super low so it's not loud and like blowing hot air everywhere and like heating up the room even more so that's super good it also comes with an app that you can put on your phone and like make custom settings and stuff like that if you wanna get all super high tech with your blow dryer. Um, I don't really need that, the smart function is good enough for me. So yeah, I'm just gonna split this section into two and blow dry, show you guys on camera, and then I will show you guys the finished results. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how I flexi rod. So I twirl it and my finger on the ends, roll it on the flexi rod, and then wrap it underneath. So I wrap everything underneath and that's how you get the look we're going for. Okay guys, I'm all done, this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna take them down. So I probably let them cool for like five minutes. The longer you wait, the better it is. It's gonna be like the more your hair will hold to the flexi rod. But this should be good enough for me. So I'm just gonna start from where I blow dried it and take them down. You guys can see it's pretty frizzy like around because I was like grabbing the wrong hair as well, blow drying and stuff. But that doesn't really like matter in the long run. So as you can see, it looks like this. As you guys can see, it's looking a little bit strange, but I'm just going to take my shine spray, spray my hair with it, and then I'm going to like start separating my hair out. I'm going to take my Denman brush and like comb it, but not too much. Hey guys, so I didn't let the front cool long enough, so when I like took my hair down, it messed up this like the front pieces that I did last. So I just redid them, gonna let them set a little bit longer before I take them down. Um, so I'm just gonna let it set a little bit before I take it down. Um, so yeah, once again, the Moda One is the blow dryer I use, and I like it because it has anion technology, so it sends like negative ions so that your hair doesn't get frizzy. I've noticed 100% my hair doesn't get frizzy as much using this as it does when I use my other blow dryers. Also, um, it doesn't smell like fiery. You know like when your blow dryer smells like a little bit like fire, like it's burning your hair or it's burning something in the blow dryer or something? This one, like it definitely doesn't burn your hair at all because of the smart technology. And it doesn't smell like, even when you're blow drying like the back, it doesn't smell like fiery. I don't know, all my other blow dryers have like a burning scent that comes out of them. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you don't. But yeah, this should be ready now. I'm just gonna take it down. And I did not put a flexi rod because I got too lazy, but you guys get the idea. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so this was my blowout. Hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully give you guys some tips if you were struggling with blow drying your hair. Because I know when I used to blow dry my hair, it would always be just super frizzy like afro no matter what I did 
So hopefully these, this video helps. Hopefully it gives you guys some tips. It's also like way less damaging than straightening your hair. And it also has like way more body and like it's so much bigger and so much nicer and like, you know, like big hair vibes, healthy hair vibes. I don't know. I really like this blow dried look. Um, but yes, I know I haven't been posting that much because, you know, life has been rough. Also, I'm in school. So yeah, I'll be trying to post a little bit more frequently i say this all the time but give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video don't forget to comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one